It is Buffalo's first homicide of 2018. Police are investigating the shooting death of a transgender woman. Homicide rates in trans women of color nationally are higher than ever before, which has many wondering if her death was a hate crime. Two on your side's Erica Brecker asks the tough questions tonight. The public hasn't heard much about a Tuesday shooting that killed a transgender woman on Shepherd Street in Buffalo until now. Thursday, District Attorney John Flynn released a statement saying, quote, the DA's office is concerned about a spike in homicides of transgender people across the country and will be, as part of this investigation, looking into whether or not this is a potential hate crime. Is the prosecution looking at this as a hate crime right now? We don't know. Um, we, we, we're, we're still in the early courses of the investigation. Um, I, um, I just put that out there um, on the radar, and I want, I want the community to know that I am well aware of the spike in transgender homicides that have occurred across the country the past two years. The Human Rights Campaign reports that the February 6th victim is 35-year-old Tanya Harvey. In a new report, the HRC details that violence disproportionately affects transgender women of color, something a woman who identifies as exactly that says she's all too aware of. It puts many of us in fear because now it's a killer that's out there. This transgender woman did not want to be identified on camera because she doesn't want to be a target. So how can law enforcement determine if this was a hate crime? If a victim's um, status um, has anything to do with the commission of a crime uh, that potentially uh, could be a hate crime. And a hate crime, according to Flynn, would upgrade the punishment of the crime to a more serious felony. To get more perspective, we attended a legislative hearing tonight about a proposal to ban conversion therapy, where many members of the LGBTQ plus community and their allies were in attendance. I don't think that um, there's any way that it couldn't be a hate crime, simply because transgender women of color are murdered at such an alarming rate that it doesn't, that just doesn't add up. The FBI investigates violations of federal civil rights statutes, which is what a hate crime would fall under. So we called our local office to see if they have any involvement. I'm told the FBI is aware of it, but that the Buffalo Police Department is the agency investigating this fatal shooting. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News. Erica.